What's up, guys, and welcome back to Dungeon Craft Season 4, Episode 34. Uh, tech it, Technic, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so today I'm building some new uh, rail structures, but what I've been wanting to make, and I haven't made for a long time, uh, I've been needing them for a long time because I'm going to make these high, uh, high altitude <laughs> rail structures, and I fall, I die, I lose all my XP, so I should have made these for a long time, long fall boots. So I'm going to make them real quick at the beginning of this episode, I wanted to show you how they're made. Really, it's just iron, like so. And then we're going to need two of these boots. You have to make one each. They're kind of a set, so you make two, like so. Uh, it costs a lot. Uh, lots of extra diamonds here, because they are definitely worth it. So what these do is allow you to fall from any height and not take any damage. So, watch. Let's just uh, check them out here. So I've got uh, downtown. This is a new rail line I'm making here. And... It will basically take us down to the flower farm and other things that are going to be down here. Uh, there's going to be a couple things probably going up to here. There's, that's a really cool spot for something, maybe up here in the ice area. It's kind of a natural, probably, staircase I'll be making, but the problem is working on these really high rail areas, it's pretty easy to fall. So let's just test them out. I do have them equipped. And there we go. There we go. No damage. <laughs> no death. I still have 34 levels. So, yeah, this is a pretty crazy rail thing to get down here. It's going to be pretty sweet, though. Um, it's going to come into a nice, really cool-looking rail station here for the bottom area. Uh, I just wanted to show you that because I like to show you the new things I create um, on without just doing it off-camera here. So, long full boots, really cool, come out of the portal mod, really awesome. Uh, they do not have any armor, though, so your armor does go down a little bit. Actually, it went up. Interesting, they do have armor. Huh. They have better armor than steel boots, and they don't take any damage. Wow, okay, I did not know that. So I can just kind of get rid of these, apparently. I don't need them anymore. Anyway, I'm going to be showing you a couple other things with Thalm crafting stuff in a second. Some new discoveries I made to help me out with this beautification process here. I'm going to finish up this railway area and the little station down there, and I'll be back in a second. Hold on. And we're back. So, oh, I need to be able to see that I'm recording a video here. And I am. Sweet. Okay, so... Today's video is kind of going to be a hodgepodge of doing fixes and, and showing you different things that are happening on Dungecraft right now. One of them is that my Thomcraft research is going well, and I've hit a point where I really want to show you the next thing I'm going to get here. Because, first of all, it's a really cool item. One of the really cool utility items that, that uh, Thomcraft brings to the game. Secondly, I'm going to be using it on a beautification process, so I really wanted to show it to you before I actually started using it. So, you can see right here, I just... Uh, researched it, studying the aspect of permutato, permutatio, has led you to some interesting conclusions. You think you might be able to create a wand that could exchange one object for another. Wand of equal trade, very cool. This is one of the coolest items in Thongcraft, in my opinion. Uh, and we're going to create it because I actually want to use it. <laughs> so let's look at let's look at my research book here and see what I've got so far. I've been doing a lot of research off camera here. And uh, so I've got a couple of wands, wands of wand of excavation, wand of equal trade, which I just got. Um, obviously, I got unified thomic field theory. You have to get this before you get a whole lot, a stretch of other items here. Um, we already saw tallow. Let's see. Oh, I got a, a one more, another tin transmutation there. Um, magical building blocks, which I will be doing. Actually, I should just make that now. That's probably not a bad idea. And then I got uh, Golemancy and then Straw Golem. So Golems are like workers that you can build that'll help you do things. And we haven't really covered those actually in any season of Dungecraft yet, but they're very powerful and really cool. So this is a farming Golem. Uh, he will basically uh, harvest crops for you and replant stuff and everything. So I'll probably be using that guy next time I want to do something. I, hopefully he works with flax because I want to make a flax farm soon for, for um, string. And so this guy should come in handy with flax, I think. Uh, I really want to get that, and I will tell you what that is later, because we're going to need it real soon with the next item we create. There are uh, more golems as well. I want to get some of those. They're really cool. Uh, and that's pretty much it. haven't done a lot of research, but I did want to show you uh, the wand, because the wand of equal trade, in my opinion, is really insane. So it's going to be three V shards. That's gonna That hurts, because V shards are very hard to come by. 50 Vs and a wand of the apprentice. So wand of the apprentice... Can I, oh yeah, any shard. Oh no, that's not it. Workbench. What? 
Thaumium Helm? That's not helping. Let's see if we can get it from here. Let's see. There and there. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's a stick, a uh, gold nugget, and something else. Do we have any gold nuggets? Do we have any gold? Do we have anything? Probably not. Let's just go back. There we go. This is pretty simple, right? So, um... We need gold. Oops. Whoa, what'd I do with that? Um, okay. Gold nuggets. Which I thought... Didn't I have them over here or something? Like some extra gold nuggets or something? Are they in here? Yeah, my voice is kind of messed up because I just woke up. And... Uh, the California air right now is really bad. We haven't had any weather systems. I know the rest of the country is like, F you, nether. <laughs> we have not had any weather issues. Um, and so all we have no, no, no wind, no rain, nothing. And so, it's, oh, wow. Oh, that's my wand of apprentice, so I can't, I can't destroy it. So, but the rest of the country is having like these insane like snowstorms and all this other crap. And uh, let's use earth shards are usually fairly useless for, in my opinion. Uh, and so the air is getting the air quality is getting really bad here because we've had no air movement or anything. Um, so let's make this on the workbench, which I don't think you need to make this on the workbench, but I don't really care. So I think it goes like this for the, the wand. And then we need to make the wand of equal trade. Now this is going to actually use the Vs in this wand here. Hey, isn't that it? That's what you said it was. How come it's maybe it's maybe it's like not shapes crafting here? Nope. Isn't that what it says it is? Oh, okay, up in the top. Um, all right. Infusion altar. Wait, infusion altar. Oh, that's the new thing I need to make. That's why I have this. Okay, so infusion altar. Let's see. I should have that in my book, to be honest. Wait, why did I do that? All right. We need. Does it tell me how to make it? I don't think so. I kind of know how to make it anyway. Let's make uh, four of these blocks here. So this is what we're... Man, sorry about that. I need some water bad. So we need four Thaumium ingots, which I think I already have because I actually looted them out of dungeons. So for now, I'm not going to make that because I don't want to uh, add flux where it's not necessary. Oh, I did. I already brought them over. So they should be in, in uh, resource thing right here already. And they aren't. Are they over here? They are. Okay, cool. So we need... Actually, let's do that. So we need that, and we need stone. I usually have some. Apparently not today. Man. I, I'm Seriously, I am prepared, guys. <laughs> it's like, what? Alright. Um, Let's just make them... I wonder if I have to make... Can I make them here? Probably not, but we'll see. So like that, and one of, like this, and we only need four of them, so eight will be plenty. No, yeah, we have to use the uh, the work table, I think, or whatever that was called. So let's go back to our thumb room. It must cost Vs to make these. Let's look at our book again. So yeah, it's 20 Vs. Okay, so let's make it on arc arcane work table here. Get out of here. That's not it. This is an arcane work table. All right, so we're going to be all set up for that. So this other, basically this is the last, as far as I'm aware, this is the last crafting table you can make with Thomcraft. So there are technically three, in in a way, crafting uh, objects. And this guy uh, is where you can collect extra Vs. Now how did I do this? I think I did it like this. So we're going to need an extra wand for this. So why don't I just use this one? All you have to do is right-click it with the wand. Boom. Now you have... It doesn't tell you, but it's that uh, work table or whatever. You have to put a wand in here. And it's what's cool is it floats on top of it. That's what I think is so cool about this. So, uh, let's see. Let's look Now let's look at, back at our uh, recipe for Wand of Equal Trade. And I think anything past this area kind of uses that, that other table. Most of them do anyway. Infusion Altar, that's what it's called. So let's stick... And we need another wand. It's a good thing we have more of those ing or, uh, gold nuggets on us, isn't it? But we don't have... We don't have a shard. It stayed in there. Cool. Let's just get another earth shard. So, another thing I'm doing that you can't see because I set it up and didn't really want to waste camera time showing you is I just set up... Um, I just set up a quarry on some of those red mountains again. 
Uh, and you'll see why in a little while now. I'd, well, you know what? Let's put this out of order. I'm sure it'll still work. So it's saying I need instrumentum and 16 permutatio. Uh, and so what I need to do is put that in a cauldron that's near this thing. Now, I hope that cauldron is close enough because it's going to suck these right out of that cauldron. So for instrumentum, which I think I can get from, yeah, flint, right? Yeah, but it's going to, well... Uh, I, I guess that's okay. I don't know of any more pure way to get this. Because what's the problem here is all the extra stuff is going to come out as flux. Now, there's a way to prevent that, and I have too many flint. Why do I have so many? I don't know. But we don't have that capability yet. And I need a glass of water. Anyway, let's put those in. There we go. Awesome, that stuff's in there. There's also an L good you can see it's hooking up. It's saying, okay, I have a source for that. Um, there are some, there's some, an item I can get that will show me what's in the cauldron, but I'm, I don't have it yet, so we're just gonna have to make do. Let's see. Where can I get that transformation? I think seeds is the best option for that. It releases the least amount of flux. So we need 16 of those? It seems like a lot. The items that are a little bit better to make as you go up the, uh, the uh, tree cost a lot more right so okay I just threw those in and you can see it's saying hey I'm connected to that table I can send this stuff over it says everything's cool now you can pull it out it's gonna take 50 V's uh, now everything else is gonna go out in flux I really don't like that but there's not a lot I can do about it at this point now if I keep building up my flux I'm gonna have an issue uh, in the future because I'm gonna have wisps flying around trying to kill me so there's the infusion altar, really cool item, uh, and that's gonna. There's a really a lot of other things that kind of inter, interact with that thing, and I'll be working on my um, research to kind of get some of those items. I'll probably be working pretty hard on it now because there aren't a lot of things I want that uh, that uh, well probably that guy and a couple other things. I might not stop to show you. I might just show you how to make them um, because there's no really no point in doing that. So this is some more advanced stuff down here. Hmm, there's a lot of stuff that's unseen. I think once I unlock things, it'll, like, show me the rest of the tree after I unlock them. But, um, it's gonna be pretty cool to show you that other stuff now that I have an infusion altar. So, the Wand of Equal Trade. Let's go show you this really quick. And the reason I want it for the beautification project, actually, we can just show you down here. I need... Down here is just gonna be stone bricks. Very simple thing for down here. Let's get a bunch of them. As you can see, my system just kicked in to start making more. Really cool. Uh, what I want to do, I can't remember how to use this. I think I have to target something. Let's see. What that ship shift target it? No, just right click target it. No. That's. I thought that was. I've, is it Alt? No. Is it Control? What? Oh, okay. There it is. I shift right clicked it. Now when I right click anywhere else, it should just swap these out. But only that same block. Like if. If I click this stone, that w uh, that uh, dirt will not be switched out. Watch. So what it's doing is taking out that that stone and replacing it with whatever block that I have targeted. So it's a really cool way to do like uh, beautification projects in kind of an easy way. And there's a way to to switch it so it only does like a certain area because I think it just went down a couple blocks too. Oh, it only did one block. That's perfect. I think it normally just does the flat pane, but I've seen it. Maybe it, gets, maybe it uh, didn't know what I wanted and kind of freaked out and did a whole bunch of them. But that's okay. I've got plenty of this stuff. I don't really care. But as you can see, it's taking damage. The Wand of Equal Trade is not something that works forever. So um, I will probably be going through a lot of these, and that's fine. I don't really care. I mean, it's so awesome. It's fine. Now, it's going to pop out these, these extra uh, blocks if I have no more storage space. And you can see I'm just – there's tons of – dirt coming up oh man tons of dirt see oh this one it went down see because I did a line and so it did the pain down that or plane went down so it sucked out a lot of the extra um, dirt that I really didn't want to exchange so yeah all this is doing is swapping those two out but it's a real huge help it's a huge time saver so, obviously, I'm going to use it, right? And that's why, why I was waiting to do all this and why I wanted to show you this thing. To me, this is ridiculous. So, I ran out of um, stone bricks. That's no sweat for me, right? Just go get some more. There we go. That's pretty cool. So, yeah, this is where you're going to have to be careful. 
I might do this by hand. It, oh, okay, it goes up on the side a little bit. That's interesting. I didn't know it would do that. <laughs> there we go. That's cool. Now, it takes it out as if you dug it. So, like, I'll, I can get some flint from doing those. Let's get some more. Apparently, we ran out again. Okay, so, yeah, we're just build it, um, kind of getting out of control with the cobblestone and stuff. So anyway, I just wanted to show you that. I'll be using it here in the beauty. Oh, I just threw away my stone. Oh, well, I don't care. In the beautification project, I'll be using it a lot. Probably have to make a couple of them, uh, but it is what it is, so it's fine. I don't really care. So I'll be doing that. You should. It should be looking really nice here next time you see it in the next video anyway. Uh, let's get to the next thing. Changes to the wool farm and flower farm. Hold on. I'll be right back in a sec when I clean up uh, my inventory. Okay, we're back. As you can see, that's looking a lot better. I mean, I don't know if that's exactly what I'm going to do when it's done. Mm, it's looking a little bland because they're all exactly the same, but it's looking pretty cool. And I've already used up half the wand, so <laughs> it doesn't last very long. Um, you just have to... Mm, that's that's Yeah, that's not going to... Oh, well, whatever. Um, so you're going to have to make a few of those, probably. So let's go over to the peat farm. I want to show you the changes to the wool. I pretty much completely rebuilt the wool farm because the sheep were getting out. And single pen is not working. The double pen, double wide, double tall, is working out really well, uh, good for keeping those sheep in the pen. I think it's double wide is what it is. I don't think it's the height issue, but I, I doubled it just in case. So what I did is expanded this thing right here. Let's uh, get some dirt in here so I can actually look inside. So I expanded this a little bit. Or is this the same size? I can't remember. But anyway, uh, and I put deployers on both sides. And then you can see the transposers. Oh, okay, that's fine. Um, and you can you just heard them go off. So the system is, is exactly the way it worked before. It's just now they're in a pen. They can move around. Um, the spawn issues are not a, a big deal. And I just have three of each of the different colors that I want right now. Three white, three blue, three red. So over here, I have not hooked up any chests yet. Normally these would be chests. That's because I'm filling up my chest that is actually in my base, right? So they're all going to fill up in here. And then what's and then what I'm going to do is put some uh, put some chests here so they can start filling up like a backfill. So that'll be pretty cool. Um, and that's really all there is to it. It's exactly the same as it was before. There's really nothing different here. Uh, except I did f do this overflow chest, which I, it will work. I have tested it. Anything that doesn't fit in here will go down the black line and just go right into this overflow chest and get killed off. So it won't overflow or stop up or any of that stuff. Anyway, that's the change here. I also want to show you the change to the wheat farm. Or, I mean, the flower farm. There's a slight change to it that's really cool. Uh, and I wanted to show you... there. I had to create an item out of red power to do this. Uh, and it was it's significant enough that it changes the farm because the farm was technically broken before. What would happen is... Sometimes when you put water on 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 grass, it kills the grass block and turns it back. Oh, what am I doing? Uh, what do I want? Flowers? Ooh, I can show you this now. Let's go downtown. And is that correct? No, these need to be back one. That's too close. Oh, well, I'll fix it later. So let's go downtown. I can show you kind of what I was working on. Also, what I need the long fall, bo fall boots for. I've been working on this for a long time. It's a really cool system because... While my other railways don't have supports, I felt this was too large and like crazy to not have a support uh, system on it. So I'm creating this large kind of support tower here for this rail system down to this new station. Uh, this is the downtown station. So that could be uptown, I guess. <laughs> so anyway, uh, got some uh, walkways and stuff. This is going to be really cool. I'm, I was really excited to start working on beautifying this area here. And we're kind of running out of time. We're at 18 minutes, I think, right now. So the thing I changed here is I added this little sensor right here. It's from Red Power. And because what happens is when that water goes over the grass, sometimes the grass block will die and turn back into to, uh, dirt. Well, during the nighttime, no grass blocks will regenerate. So if this thing runs during the night, a lot of times you can run out of enough grass that eventually this whole thing's dirt, okay? That could happen. So I added this sensor on to turn off the system when it's dark, okay? And so let me show you the recipe for that. I, I think it's called sen something sensor. And that's with the O, dude. Yeah, here it is. Light sensor. It's a blue doped wafer, stone wire, and then just a bunch of stone wafers. It's pretty easy to create. Uh, but what you can do is open and close this little sensor right here. Uh, to tell it how much light 
do you need to actually um, turn uh, hit do your redstone signal? Right now, I have it closed all the way in to say it must be very bright out, uh, basically full daylight, to turn the system on, uh, and that's because I want to make sure that this thing doesn't turn into dirt. Okay, so you just ri you right click it. I'm not going to do it because it's all messed. It'll mess it up. Well, let's just. Oh, you have to do it with the screwdriver. So let, I'll just show you to you real fast, I guess. Um, oop. Well, we don't really have time. <laughs> That's the thing. I've got to do one more thing, actually fix a system. The next, this video and another one are going to be about fixing systems. So actually, no, that, oh, it's shift right click. So maybe it is good that I showed you that. So the other settings allow more light, like basically like at dusk, it will turn on or just at the more, uh, sunrise, it will turn on, something like that. But I want it to be full daylight. So yeah, there we go. That actually didn't affect the system, so that's good. Um, all this does is lock the pistons down. It locks them into place while it's nighttime, just like this system does as well when it's getting that feedback right there. It does the same thing. So it locks the pistons at night. So let's get back uh, up there. We actually need to go pick up a couple of ender chests to fix the system. Now, I might have already told you, I think I did, that uh, multi farms, and this is actually something people are pretty upset about. Multi farms do not have an alternative to fertilizer. And if you know anything about fertilizer, you know that it's an unsustainable resource. By that I mean it's only created from appetite. There's no other way to create it. And so mulch was supposed to be a great um, uh, perpetual type resource we could use, a reusable or re. What's that called? Anyway, the, a greener resource that would we could actually replenish ourselves. Uh, so it doesn't work, and I'm not going to rip those systems out. So I just got an ender chest and filled it with appetite. Just went around the, you know, dunge craft and kind of dug some, um, dug out that appetite. Now, luckily, when you do find appetite, you find a lot of it. Uh, so that was nice. I had to. I think I mined out two extra veins or maybe three of appetite to fill this this chest. Now I have three copies of it because two are going to go in my system and one of them I'm gonna to use to um, to put more down and just to monitor it so let's put one here not that it's ever gonna be put into that system but maybe someday it is actually um, but that way I can monitor it I might have a light that goes off like when it's getting low like a big old uh, blaring light to say hey dude you need to fill this because it's getting low uh, luckily multi farms do not take do not use a lot of fertilizer so it should be pretty easy to keep up especially since I'm starting with a whole chest that's that's tons okay um, so let's put this up and let's put that sign on there to say this is appetite Appet uh, yes learn how to do this yeah it might help if you can actually type okay here we go yeah ap appetite mm, <laughs> appetite oh well whatever right let's see appetite okay so that's all done Let's get over to the peat farm. That's where we're going to do the system first. Um, I am going to need a couple of auto crafters because it doesn't actually use appetite. It uses, um, uses uh, fertilizer, which is created from appetite. So I'm going to need some gears, wood gears. And I'm going to, oh, okay. So I need, let's see, I'm going to need eight of these. I think, I think from the get go, I'm just going to use, there are two ways to make fertilizer. There's, um, we need two crafting tables here too. There's uh, a one a way to make it with sand and a way to make it with um, ash. Uh, but the ash way we use is eight ash per, and, and and you only get eight extra fertilizer. Which I don't have a use for ash right now. But at the same time, it's not something that's easy easy for me to get because it comes from uh, using those peat engines. They give you ash as a byproduct, and I don't have. A, I only have two of those running right now. So to me, it's not a good idea to use something like that. That, that is not probably going to be sustainable. So what I'm going to do instead, actually, I could just create sand. That's what I should really do. Make make a pulverizer, make induction furnaces, or I'm sorry, igneous extruders. I already have one pulverizer. So let's do another one. So this is the last part. Uh, changes to the wool farmer. Okay, yeah, this is the last part of our our video here. We don't have any of those, so let's make another um, pulverizer. Let's see. Wait, that's not it. It's this one. I don't have my signs up anymore. So let's see. We're gonna need. Let's see. Let's see if we have everything we need here. What's that? Aqueous accumulator. Yeah, we don't need that. Pulverizer. We need one more of those. We're gonna need some flint. Uh, I did turn the filter off for flint, 
So anytime we get flint now, we should actually receive the flint. And that's because um, stuff in Thomcraft is using a lot of flint. Now, where'd that flint go? We don't have any. Oh, we've got a little bit of it here. Um, yeah, so we're that's one of the best ways to get that uh, work symbol, that uh, pickaxe symbol, is through fl uh, flint. So I've started gathering that again. So where did it go? No, nope, that's not it. Upper area. Okay, so flint. Boom, pulverizer. Let's get two of these. We're going to need to make sand in two different locations. So we need uh, igneous extruder. So we need two pistons. Easy enough. And we need, okay, I don't have any of that on me, actually. Let's go get some, because I was throwing it all out. Uh, let's just do that. One stack is good. Usually I make this stuff off camera, but for now, you know, I didn't know I was going to need it, so let's just do it um, willy-nilly here. I hate that word, actually. Um, what, wait, I thought we needed cobble. Don't we need cobblestone? Piston? Oh, that's right. We need the cobblestone in the main uh, crafting table here. So let's get two of those pistons. We're also going to need two frames, which we're running out of frames here. Machine frames. Let's get a bunch more. We need gold. Okay, we can do that. So I had Ethan on the server on the dungeon craft, and he was trying to steal all my gold and diamonds and all this other stuff. I was like, dude, you can't just grab all that stuff. Like, he didn't just grab it a little bit. Like, I would have been totally cool with him taking a little bit, but he took like every, he took all of it, all my diamonds, all my gold, you know, every, pretty much everything I had. I was like, come on, buddy, you know, don't don't do that to me. Uh, he just laughed, and so I took it all back. Okay, so there we go. We got some more frames here. We need some servos. That should be, nope, this one should be, okay, let's get a couple servos so we don't have to keep making those. And boom, two igneous extruders. Okay, so let's put those in the project chest. We got that, we got that, we got this, we've got um, these ender chests. And I think that's all we're going to need. We need power, don't we? I'm definitely not, well, we already have power. Maybe we can run the power over there. Both these systems have power. Yeah, let's do that. I think that's all we're going to need. We will see when we get there. So we're going to go sleep, and then we're going to go to the peat farm first. This video is going to be long. I already know it, so it's fine. It is what it is. You know what? In fact, I'll meet you at the peat farm. It's quicker. Okay, we're back, and you know, I'm glad I took that time off camera, because I actually, this is going to be more complicated than I thought it was going to be. So I think I've got everything set up the way I want it, and I'm going to kind of work backward with this. I do need a relay. That's something I didn't build, so I went back and got a couple. I already actually had a couple just laying around. So let's get a... Oh, that was how I wanted it. The relay is going to push fertilizer in, right? So it's going to push it right into here. Uh, and then I'm going to need... Actually, there's one extra thing I didn't pull out of the bag here is the pipe wire. I'm going to need to set up the pipe, right? So it's going to be like this, and then it's going to go like that. Um... Let's move this guy. So I kind of wanted to have, yeah, that's what I want to do. So I think, okay, that's going to be, there we go. So I'm going to put the auto crafter here. Okay. And what I'm going to do, because I want to be able to open this chest and see, like, uh, if it is, act oh, wait, you know what? Yeah, that, that should work. I want to be able to test the, you know, check it while I'm in here to see how much is left. That's probably when I will do my checking. Uh, we're going to need, or we're actually going to need um, a couple of, oh, here we're going to just use this. A couple, oh, there's the recipe. But we're going to need a couple chests. I didn't think about that. So let's just do this. Let's do that. Let's get a couple of these. This is for the sand to go into. I don't know if these are necessary, but we're going to put them up anyway. So let's put um, another chest here. That's where the sand is going to end up. And let's put this in here because we need it. Okay, so it's looking fairly good so far. Let's uh, let's not hook up that that part yet. Let's do the rest of this. Pulverizer, induction smelter, or extruder, igneous extruder, duh. Dang. Lava, water, start making me some uh, cobblestone. You've seen me do this a million times. All right, so this guy, let's configure him. He's going to intake from the bottom, right? He's going to output to... Yes, he's going to output to the left. So he's going to output only the top, which means we're going to have to have a void pipe on the bottom, and that's fine. You no, know, you want to do red. You're doing yellow out the top. So this is going to be off. 
and off in the back. So we're also going to need a void pipe. Luckily, I always have uh, a few of those. We're just going to pump that gravel out of the top here. Ooh, okay, good. All right, so let's put that on as well. Oops. There we go. So it's going to pipe any gravel out of the top, and it's going to make sand and uh, pump it over to this chest. So let's get this part hooked up. Let's get hooked up to power here. I think it's a straight shot, which is really cool. I'm probably going to need to make some more of these guys, though. So, there we go. So he should start getting power. And he doesn't. Oh, it's shut off. The system is shut off. It's because there's no need to make more peat. Let's give it a need. Let's give it a little bit of need here. That will turn it on. It should now receive tons of power. As much as... Hurry up! Hurry up! Because it's not going to take long to fill that peat back up. So this will create a little bit of sand. Let's just put some sand in there. Once this thing's producing... It'll feed that thing energy, so we don't care. Let's just put the sand in, okay? There, there, there we go. That's good. Let's put uh, these in here. We're going to need those later. But for now, we don't need them. I like to keep my sword handy. So it's making sand, and it's going to pump it over. Now, it takes a lot of energy to do that. Um, but it'll fill up. Trust me, there'll be enough sand in here. We might have to hook that up a different way, because this thing turns the whole system off when it doesn't need any more power. Interesting. I don't know how that's going to work. Why is it turning off the red... Oh, you know why? Because the multi-farm will suck out energy at all times. I think that's why. So this is looking good. I think this is going to work. If that doesn't work, I'll figure out a way to pipe in sand. It'll be fine. So now we have everything we need. Let's make the recipe here. Let's just get one of these guys. And we'll get two of these guys. And make the recipe. So it's going to look like this. There we go. That's going to make eight. So what I'm going to do is now let's set up the pipe wire because we need a feedback system that says when the red when the relay is empty, craft some of these for me, right? Craft me some more um, fertilizer because I've already pumped it all in the uh, the multi farm. So it's empty right now, uh, even though it only needs two. So we're going to say let's see inventory items uh, inventory empty pipe signal. So that's what it's doing right now. And this one's going to say, if you're getting a pipe signal, then pulse. Create me some fertilizer. So it's going to create quite a lot of it, but that's okay. Now it's full, the feedback loop is complete, and we should get tons of fertilizer in here. Yeah, like more than a stack. So that's going to keep this thing full of fertilizer. You can see it put two more in. And it dug into the sand a little bit, but it, it'll be fine. It's going to be fine. This this, uh, this system over here works fine like that way, too. This one d is doing the same thing, see? It's totally filled with sand. So it's going to get plenty of, of energy over time. If it's going to take a while to fill this box up, that's all it is. Let's take a stack of this over to the other one so that we can do the same thing over there. Uh, it's going to be pretty much the same system. We just need to pick up this stuff right here. Actually, let's do this. Let's just do that. And then we can put them in here. Sweet. Come on. <laughs> Hurry up. Yeah, don't have all day here. So it's getting a little uh, tight in there, but it is what it is. There's not a lot we can do about it. Really wish that the multi farms would use mulch. And I think they had mentioned it to the devs, the forestry devs, and they're like, no, it's going to stay this way. And it's more realistic. And it's like, yeah, it's fine that it's realistic. Just may let us put it another way in that we can make this stuff. <laughs> Come on, you know? Uh, stop trolling us is basically what they're trying to say. Um, so we're, let's let's take these out. We'll put them back in in a little bit. This is a much tighter area, um, so we're going to have a little bit of a harder time, but that's okay. we got to get rid of this. Actually, we didn't need an extra um, chest, did we? Because we already have one. So a lot of this system is already set up. I just need to make sure that um, that the way it's set up is how I want it. So we're going to put... Yeah, that's going to go there. Hmm. can come off there, I guess. Sort of, somehow. All right, so that means the auto crafter, which we don't have any of that stuff. Let's put some of this stuff away. Now that we don't need that, 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 or that, we should be good to go. Let's put some sand in there. And let's get out this stuff. And let's set this stuff up. Now, I'm not sure if this one turns off... Yeah, see, that's going to be a lot different. In fact, how are we going to pulse out? Wow, we're going to have to make a hole right there. 
That is not what we want. Hmm. That stinks. I could put it down there. I really don't want it underground, though. But I could, if I had to. Well, I don't know. I, I'm not really sure. Maybe I could put it right there, but it's going to look funny. You know, it's sticking out of the side there. Oh, well. Whatever, right? Let's just do it like this. It's, some machines are sticking out. So what? <laughs> you don't like it? I don't know. Build it yourself. <laughs> Okay, so that means we're also going to need a void pipe sticking out of the side out there. Alright, so we're going to void pipe out this direction. Actually, it's set up correctly. There we go. We have nothing in here, nothing in here. Receive from the bottom. Okay, so that's all set up. I didn't, I didn't configure this, did I? There we go. Okay, now we can put these down. If we can find room. Let's get this extruder uh, hooked up. Oop. Okay. Boom. Good to go. Put, yeah, put some, um, put it in there, buddy. Okay, so let's get our uh, energy conduits. We're going to need, definitely going to need more of these. Let's try to wind this around here. Let's hook it up to there. Let's see what we have to do. Oh, wow, it goes right in. That is so cool. Bam, didn't even have to do anything. Now, this one also turns off when there's nothing to do. So we're going to have to give it... Well, it'll get power eventually, and it'll start working on that sand. We don't really care right now. I'll check later to see if uh, if it's not getting enough time to create that sand. I think it's going to be fine, though. Or uh, not not really to create the sand, but to... um, We're missing something. No, we're not. It's right there. But enough power to keep the sand filled. So we've got everything we need. Do we have... We don't. That's okay. We can pull it out of here. So we'll get one of those, we'll get two of these. This is very simple. First, let's check this. So, items in inventory, red pipe signal. We want inventory empty, red pipe signal. Right? I mean, it doesn't matter, but that's, let's set both of these up the same. I think that's a good idea. So it's pulsing right now. It should be filling it. Shouldn't it? Right? I, inventory empty, red pipe signal. Red pipe signal, pulse. It's not doing anything. Why not? Oh, we didn't put the <laughs> recipe in yet. Jeez, come on. Okay. Boom. Now, this is a lot shorter, so it, shouldn't, it won't produce as many, I don't think. Well, it probably will because a lot of the time is taken up uh, traversing the wood pipe. So, yeah, it did. Took up tons. That's okay. But it keeps this thing filled. That's all we care. So, this system is done as well, except we need to do the void pipe. That's one thing we didn't do. And that's just going to stick out and look ugly, but that's because this is a much smaller multi-farm, and it is what it is. There we go. <laughs> Looks hilarious. Oh, well, we don't care. It's working, right? That's the point. The point is, we want it to work, and it works. Oh, you know what? This needs an out. Doesn't it? That's in. Yeah, this needs an out. No wonder. The other one we had hooked up already had an out, so it was fine. But this should be getting... Oh, good. It's getting tons of power now. That's good. So this doesn't have the same feedback loop. It's just always on, which is fine. Um, so there we go. Um, it's using up a little bit of appetite, but I think it was just to create the, the initial set. And this thing burns really slow, so we should be fine. It shouldn't be a big deal. Uh, so that's it. Going to be it for fixing the fertilizer issue uh, for these multi-farms. Next, next video, we're going to be fixing that mulch farm. Uh, which is going to be a lot more complicated. And why are we getting gravel over here? Oh, it's because we have this set up incorrectly. There we go. That's why. So let's send this out. We can't, probably. So now it should be set up correctly. Because we want to put the sand over in that box and the gravel out in that void pipe. Yeah. Yep, so sand. Cool, this is all set up as well. We're done. So anyway, let me know what you think about this video, guys. Fixing this thing up. Uh, the Wand of Equal Trade, all the things we talked about, which there are so many now. Um, also, I have like three beautification projects going on at the same time, two or three. I have not finished my White Tower as well, which is really bland. I like to kind of make it better. Hey, what's up, bro? You want to die on, on camera? Cool. All right, I can do that. Um, there's one thing I do want to make next episode that we will see that's going to really help me with uh, the next farm I want to make. And then we really need to get to the ME si uh, system because... We're ready. We're ready for that thing and auto-crafting and stuff. Anyway, let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time, guys. Stay frosty.